Hey, Tony here, Brand Adventures 2.0. What are we doing and where are we at? Well, what we're doing, I think we're going to stealth camp at another covered bridge. I got to check it out. I stopped and I looked at it just for a little bit, uh, but that was a couple weeks ago. So I've got a house right there and I got a house right there. And I can't get under the covered bridge on this side. It's got to be on the other side. So, where are we at? We're outside of Catawissa, Pennsylvania. Let's go walk on over to this. So, might as well get things started. How about cue the music? That's the intro music. There it is. Okay, here we go. Head number 40 bridge and the only place that I think I can get to is over there the bridge is too high to do the hammock so I'm gonna go check out some trees over there and maybe we can hammock hang near it All right. but we got to make it across this one lane bridge hopefully no traffic Yes, yeah, uh, they got these uh, two windows here on this end. So now we're looking upstream right here. Uh, it's a nice stream. So this cover bridge, it's a single lane. Like I said, we got to kind of get across here quick because there's been trucks and cars and everything coming across here. But look at the construction of this thing. Maybe when it slows down a little bit later, uh, we can take a take a walk back up here and take a look at it. But this is a really nice bridge. And we can see the water down through it. Yeah, oh, I hear a car coming. Oh good. <laughs> it went it went the other way. Yeah, there's a truck coming behind me. Oh, is it going to come across? No. Oh, but there's one in front of me. I'm going to come this way. Let him go by. There's a car coming as well. Yeah, I'm thinking right down there is where we're going to be. I don't want to look too suspicious here. That's a big, big tree. It's, yeah, I'll wave him through. Yeah, he was, he was waiting to get by. There he goes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's take another look at this. Yeah, like I said, there's cars, quite a bit of them coming through. But my thought is to get down there on that little slope. I'm seeing a tree from here that I might be able to tie to, but I won't know until we get down there. But I've got to, I've got to make my way down there. That's going to be tricky. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Hollings Head Covered Bridge, Columbia County Commissioners Project Coordinator. Yeah. Built in 1851. It was rehabilitated just before the year 2000 in 1999. So this is. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of Interior. Very cool. Yeah, Pennsylvania's got a lot of covered bridges. It has a lot of them. And they are well maintained, that's for sure. So this one only has a clearance of 8 feet 3 inches. Good thing I ain't 8 feet tall. <laughs> All right, let me try to get down over to the side. We might have to scrap this. I'm just not sure yet. All 
All right, here comes another car behind me. I'm just gonna continue to act like I'm just filming. Let them go by. I don't wanna see them see me go down over to the side. But I do have my camera, so they kinda would just think I'm taking pictures of the bridge. <laughs> yep, there's a look at the bridge again. So there's the creek that runs down. And you can see the car going up over there. So I'm hesitating because this is steep and I'm not 100% with my stroke yet. So I am gonna probably just bend you around here. I'm taking my time, but that's steeper than it looks. <laughs> yeah, but I think this is the best side to go down. I already looked at the other side. We can't get down over there at all. Now, maybe if I was 20 again, uh, that'd be different, uh, but I ain't 20. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I'm going to turn the camera off, and then I will see you when we're down there. Okay, we're down to the bottom. There goes a car up over the top, but we just came down that right there. Like I said, in the camera, it doesn't look too steep, but that's steep right there, but it's it's not a bad grade. Oh, we got a little shelf. Maybe we can do some uh, of our cooking on there. We won't have to break out our table. Just looking up underneath here, look at those beans. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. So that's a busy road over there as well. But you can see on that side, there is no way I would have been able to get down uh, there. Quick look down here at the water. Oh, so this is really sandy right here. But see all that black stuff there? That looks like black sand. Yeah, there's a lot of black sand right there. If you know anything about gold panning, uh, when you see black sand, a lot of times there's some gold flecks in there. Ooh, I should have had my pan with me. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of going up in here because I'm very visible by the traffic right over there, so uh, this kind of slopes down into the water as well, but it's all sand, so, but I'm thinking of getting up in there. All right, maybe tying to that one tree there. I don't want to be visible right in here, plus there's nowhere to tie to, uh, so I want to get up in there a little bit. Uh, we can do stuff under here, but... That house is right there, but I want to get blocked by these uh, leaves. Yeah, that one right there, and maybe one over in there. We'll take a look. <laughs> yeah, so I'm making my way up here just a little bit, but it sounded like a gunshot a second ago. And <laughs> what happens? One of these trees, oh, this one right behind me. It's a, <laughs> it's a chestnut tree. Oh, yeah, and one of these fell off the tree and hit that metal roof. It sounded like a gunshot went off. I was like, oh, <laughs> what is that? All right. So that's a big chestnut right, right there. Yeah. Looks like some oaks, some silver maple. That's a big tree there. All right. So I'm going to tie to that one right there. And I think I'm going to use this, this one right here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Let me get set up. Yeah, this is a huge tree, <laughs> which is nice because I can also be hidden a little bit by it. But I am, like I said, I'm gonna use those two trees. I'll get you set up and I'll start stringing our hammock. This thing's huge. <sighs> been here a long time <laughs> maybe as long as the cover bridge
So it's very important when you pack your bag, you pack it in a way that you're pulling everything that you need out first before you touch anything else. Now it's not supposed to rain tonight, so I'm just debating. I may not put the tarp up except for I may still put it. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to do the tarp. Let me just get the hammock out and get that strung up first. So right there is our tarp. We may or may not use that later. So the next thing in my bag is going to be my hammock. So I always keep the strap right there ready to go. So there's another car, but you can see I'm tied to this tree right here. Now I do have the one wind buckle straps. That makes it so nice, but I, you can see you know, one of the additions, this right here, that's my AMA uh, under quilt. So I've got that on because it's supposed to get down to 47 degrees tonight. So right over there, you can see I'm tied to that tree. There's the backpack right over there up against the tree. And uh, I think next thing, we got to give this a sit and see how it feels. So those leaves are really helping a lot with me being hidden here from the road across. But most people that are pulling up to the bridge, I don't think they're really looking down at the water or over in this direction. At least I didn't, because when I went... Knowing it's a one lane bridge, you're cautious when you pull up. And then when you're trying to exit, you're looking for cars coming this way. But yeah, slide up here just a little bit. So you see we got our ridge line right here. Uh, I'm gonna... Now, my feet are gonna be slightly a little higher than my head, uh, which is by design, <laughs> which I found out. Yeah kind of makes you fall into the sweet spot from what I understand. Stitch was telling me that. Now, most of you don't know, I've only been hammock camping for a year, year and three quarters. So I haven't been doing it forever. <laughs> I'm not like I'm an expert. I'm learning and uh, what I'm learning, I'm just sharing with you. But yeah, oh, this is going to be comfortable. I think this is going to work. All right, let me get out of here. But from here, look at the water. That is awesome. And I can see the bridge. Ah, I can lay here all day. So I've got the under quilt. And I'll just make sure that's pulling up around my sides. So you can see that here. Yep, that's perfect. Time to get up. We got more of camp to set up. Like I said, I checked radar. It's not raining at all. And it's not cloudy. So I think the dew point is really down. Uh, so I do have the table in here. And I've got my stool. But I think if I cook, maybe we'll cook down there. I won't break the table out. Um, so for now, I think I'm just going to get my chair, set it up right here, lean up against this tree, and just kind of relax for a little bit. Now that we're kind of set up, I want to let things die down around here a little bit. It is getting uh, into the evening. So people are probably coming home from work. I think that's a good spot. Make sure that's not pulling ivy right there. 
Well, you don't need any poison ivy. No, that looks like a baby chestnut tree. I'll just lean back against the tree. All right, maybe I'll take a little nap. Whew, yeah. <laughs> I think I did doze off for a little bit. That water, that's just very comforting. This is going to be a good night's sleep. All right, so what are we having for dinner? So it's been a while since I did a backpacking meal. I wanted to really uh, try out making something with this um, Fire Maple Star X2 that I did a uh, review on. So that's the cooking system that we're going to use for this camping trip. Um, so we're going to use that, but... <laughs> This is all of our food right in here. So we've got dinner, uh, we've got dessert. <laughs> so, and then some tea and oh, breakfast is in here. So there's gonna be breakfast tomorrow morning, uh, but I won't tell you what that is, but what are we having for dinner? <laughs> well, let's go down underneath the uh, cover bridge that way I can start heating up the water for dinner okay so we're just making our way back over to the, this ledge right there I think we're gonna cook on that ledge but there is a house right there and I just heard a circular saw go so somebody's working up there in the yard but I think we'll be okay under here let's see you can see our hammock right there. It's kind of hidden by that tree <laughs> right there, but you can see I've got all my stuff laid out on this ledge right here. So you can see the ledge runs. Oh, that was them, them chestnuts dropping. Man, they're big. That was a loud crack. Yeah, maybe there's a squirrel up there knocking them down, but they just hit them rocks and splattered. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty exposed under here. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that road. Oh my goodness. But I don't think anybody's actually going to look over here when they're driving by. I really doubt it. I really, really do doubt it. Now, if we had a light on under here, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Yeah, so, like I said, I think we'll be good. Uh, I just got to keep my Remember to keep my voice down because I am an eye shot in that house right over there. So, what are we having for dinner? Well, we are having chicken and dumplings. Yeah, there goes a the cart. Yeah, they don't they don't look over here. So we are gonna have an adventure meals by Mountain House. So that's what that looks like. So that's what we're gonna have now. This is two servings. I can't eat two servings, that's a lot of food. So I did bring an extra Ziploc bag that I'm gonna portion that out. I'm gonna split it in half, just make one, one uh, batch. And I think I'm gonna do the same with the dessert later. Go ahead and get this opened up. So this is the Fire Maple X2. If you haven't seen the review on that, I just did it the other week. Maybe I'll put a thumbnail right here. Oh, <laughs> so you can go over and look at that. But I boiled a whole liter of water in four minutes and 10 seconds. That was a whole liter of water. We don't need a liter of water to make this meal, especially if we're cutting it in half. So let me get this broke down and split in half so I can start putting this together and get our food made. So yeah, you can see right here it's Two servings per container, so we're only going to use one serving, so that's 300 calories per serving. Okay, let me break this down. Okay, I haven't done this in a while. Oh, there goes a car over top of us. But 
This is do not eat. And it says it for a reason because someone must have ate it. But this is not extra flavoring. So make sure you remove this before you put the hot water in. Ooh, doesn't that look good? This is one of my favorites. I believe this is my very favorite meal is the chicken and dumplings. If you haven't tried it, oh, you got to try it. Okay, I got them broken in half. So one serving's in there, one serving's in here. Now we just got to boil water. Okay, to set the stove up, you got the base right here. Well, you can watch that on that review video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get it set up. I'm going to get our gas can uh, onto our burner, get that mounted, and then we can get the show started. So it calls for the whole thing. One and third cups. There goes another car. One and third cups of water. We're just going to put a little bit in there. Yep, that's about enough. Yeah, that was less than a minute to boil that water. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was extremely fast. I am really impressed with how fast that did that water. I know it was four minutes and 10 seconds to do all the water that we did the other day, which was a whole liter, but we definitely, when you're doing less water, my goodness is that fast. Okay, so I'm going to give that a seal. Get our stove packed away. So we don't need that for the rest of our stuff. Set that aside. And let that marinate. Yeah, while our meal is cooking, I want to take a look at these rocks. I... I saw this moss when I was coming down and I wanted to film it, but yeah, coming down these big, all these rocks, I didn't want to stop and take the time. I figured I'd do it now, but look at that moss on that rock. Wow, that is so cool. That's another look up <laughs> at the covered bridge. I wonder what the purpose of painting buildings red is. If anybody knows, throw it in the comment. Because I know old barns and also all the covered bridges are painted red. Not sure why. Our meal is done. I went ahead and threw my hoodie on. It's getting a little chilly. But there we go. So, like I said, we've got our other, <laughs> other serving packed away there. That smells good. Yes, it does. Ooh, that's looking good too. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Oh, I can see all the dumplings in there. Uh, let's give it a taste. Ah, uh, maybe you can look at it first. That is amazing. Here comes another car. Yeah, there's another one going over top of us while we're eating. That chicken dumplings definitely has a 2.0 approval. That's like their best meal that they have, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you think. Sun's going down, it's gonna get dark soon. This stuff's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and sit here, finish eating, watching the creek, listening to, <laughs> to the water rushing by or not rushing, just flowing. 
and the crickets you can start to hear them now so I don't want to be under here too long in the right indirect view so we'll probably make our way back up to the hammock and I'll talk to you once we get up there yeah sun's already down it'll be getting dark soon Oh, I should have made two servings of this. <laughs> mm. Okay, it's about 635 right now. And lately it's been getting dark around 720. Um, so we've got some time yet. I was just sitting down there relaxing. <laughs> as far as the stealth camp, this is... I don't know that it's a high risk one. I mean, I do have a house there and a house over there, but right now that house over here, this way, I'm totally blocked by the covered bridge. And then that one right there, I haven't seen any activity at that house. And But I've got all the leaves from the trees blocking me when we're sitting here. And then any cars that go by the covered bridge, they cross over and I'm blocked by this huge tree. So we are gonna see watch, there's a, there's a vehicle coming now. Yeah, you saw it right there. So they can't see me. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is a backpacker's pantry. This is what we're gonna have for dessert. Dark chocolate <laughs> cheesecake mix. And this is a double serving as well, so I'm going to put half of it in this bag and save it. But that chicken and dumplings, i got to let that sit for a while. It's been about 40 minutes, but I'm really not hungry for this yet. Uh, we'll give it a couple minutes, and then we'll eat that. another car <laughs> so, <laughs> so I broke this down so I split it into two so I've got our dark chocolate cheesecake in there so I was just reading the instructions it says pour um, two-thirds cup of water so we got to do less than that half of that and then it says stir briskly for 90 seconds and then there's these uh, crumb things that you put on top I'd imagine you do that after so that's cookie crumbs and then it says enjoy <laughs> we'll see so what i want to do is get uh, into all the corners and pull it out because i don't want to bite into a a puff of uh powder <laughs> i don't know if you ever tried chewing powder it doesn't work too good no <laughs> couple vehicles on the other side went racing up the road <laughs> so these are the crumbs I'm gonna put half of them in here and save the other half for that other other serving Good. So this is dark chocolate cheesecake mix. Dark chocolate cheesecake pudding <laughs> mix. <laughs> So it's definitely more of a pudding consistency. Kind of like mousse. Did you ever have mousse where you mix pudding and whipped cream? It's kind of what it tastes like. Very good. Mmm. Some of my favorite stuff. 
the crunch of the cookies and dark chocolate and cheesecake. Everything I love. 2.0 approval. Yep, this was a good one. Now, where did I get this one? Ah, Zeke. Zeke sent this to me when I went down to see him. I don't know if you guys remember Zeke or not, but yeah, young man just gave me this dark chocolate cheesecake mix. I got to give him a call, see how he's doing. All right, I'm going to finish this before it gets dark. It's going to happen soon. Okay, I'm going to turn my light on for a little bit. I'm going to try to manage this pretty good because there's no cars going by right now, but they keep going on and off, on and off, on and off, but it's gotten darker. The sky looks blue behind me, but that's just in the camera. It's actually getting dark, and if I turn my light out, you can see how dark it is. Yeah. Well, it's always darker in the woods, but I've just been sitting here listening to the creek going uh, <laughs> rippling on down very relaxing I think it's going to be an early night there's a lot of cars still going by but they're starting to slow down I there is a light on over in that house so I gotta really watch my light but right now with all the trees we're good um, and like I said that cover bridge has got me pretty well blocked and the tree right behind me has got me blocked. But I'm going to turn my light back out. Alright. So I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> and just enjoy it. Okay. I think it's a very early night tonight. That's a big one there. That's a couple of them. Oh, yeah. Going through the bridge. Yeah, it's late. Here comes another one. If we were underneath it, it would be going... Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I'm ready to climb into bed. Yeah, there's another... Another vehicle going over, but that light that you see right there, that's through the woods. That's the moon. It's trying to focus on it. It can't focus on it. Yeah. Like I said, I'm getting ready to climb in the hammock. It's about 11 o'clock. I thought right before I climb in the bed, there's no traffic. So, uh, that's this uh, little light that I have. You can see our hammock here. You can see down at the water. Oh, that is bright. <laughs> yeah, there's the cover bridge. Yeah, that's that Wuban. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's a nice little compact light. Yeah, there's a there's a thing for it down in the description. I did a review on it right before I left on my trip across America, but I keep that hanging on my uh, strap on my backpack. Yeah. Oh, I better get this light out. That's my Sunblessa headlamp. That thing's pretty bright, too. Okay. I'm going to make this quick. Because <laughs> I don't know when the next car is coming. And I don't know if that house can see me over there with this light on. I don't... I mean, it's bright, but it's... I've got a lot of leaves in between us. Uh, but, yeah. Well, I'm ready for bed. I'm really, really tired. Oh, there's a car. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, until morning, lights out. <laughs> All right. Good night. And I'll see you in the morning. Oh, there goes another car. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> like I said, I can lay here and I can see him right across the water. So I know I got my light down inside the hammock here shining just to block it from the road. All right. Well, I'm not going to attempt it anymore. All right. Well, you have a great night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Oh, what a comfortable hammock lay this is. <laughs> so you can see I've got the top quilt pulled up. It's chilly. I got my puffy on. I got up last night and put that on. So I got my puffy, my hoodie, I got my top quilt, and I got my under quilt on. So it is nice and warm under here. <sighs> now it's not supposed to rain but it's overcast. I don't know if you can hear it. There's raindrops hitting the, uh, hitting the leaves. So I think what I might do is go ahead and get up. Uh, though I hate to. <laughs> so comfortable in here. Oh, there's one of them. I keep calling them chestnuts. They're walnuts. That's that's a big, I think that's English walnut tree or some kind of walnut tree. But them things were hitting that metal roof last night. <laughs> Not in the middle of the night. Scared the living daylights out of me. So there's cars. So. Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to get up. I'm going to break the hammock down. Put it away just in case it does rain. Uh, and then we got breakfast to cook. Okay. Well, let me get that done. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a bulldozer or something like that through the woods over there. Man, who would have thought the woods would have been so busy this morning? Yeah. I, I don't know if it's a bulldozer or what. I didn't know there was a road over there. I don't know. Well, I've got the backpack and the hammock and everything all packed up. So you can see the tree right there that we were on. So right there is our spot. So we got nothing left, nothing laying around. So I'm gonna make my way down there and let's go under the bridge just in case it rains. And I'm going across the bridge. <laughs> Wait for a second to step out. Yeah. So there was uh, three ducks that flew in while I was laying in the hammock, and then they, as soon as they landed, they started floating down the, the creek <laughs> right away. Yeah, there's that bulldozer. Oh man, there's another car going over. I won't be able to see it. So I've got our burner over here already. I just left it sit here last night. Yeah, lots of yeah, lots of walnuts. So I left it out on the ledge right here. So, well, let's get cooking. It's about 8.30 right now. It is chilly. I tell you what, there's a breeze coming down through here. So I got the fire maple out. 
So we are going to use this in two different ways. We're going to boil water because I've got a little bit of tea and honey in here. Now that's pine needle tea. <laughs> so I've got pine needle tea, honey in there. So we're going to do that in our cup. And then I've got I'm going to use the frying pan. I'm going to get it set up and then after we boil our water, we're going to do the, the frying pan part of it. So we're going to use our fire maple 8 inch. That's a non-stick frying pan. So this, I'll show you how it goes. Uh, but what are we going to do in our frying pan? Well, I've got two brown eggs. I've got, yes, Cooper Sharp cheese. And then we are going to put some jalapeno salsa on our cheesy scrambled eggs and just eat it right out of the pan. Okay, so let me get the stove set up. I think I'm going to boil water first, get our tea going. Oh, what are we going to drink our tea out of? Hey, Dennis sent me this. A little... <sighs> There's them walnuts again. Dennis sent me this. Oh, last year. I never had a chance to use it yet, but I brought it out. It's a collapsible cup. Look at that. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to have our tea out of this. All right, let me get the water boiling. It's a boiling. I'm going to turn that off. You can see I set my little packet of honey right there on the vent so that it made it nice oh them, them walnuts are just a falling yeah um so it made it so it can pour right out of this pack so that's a good little tip there all right so i'm gonna i've already got our tea bag set up here so this is that tea bag and that's that white pine needle tea that's gonna be good let me get that poured. Okay, so, ah, the cars. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. This is the, for the, for the pan. So we just wanna open up our legs and that's what's gonna support the pan as we cook our eggs on here uh, on top of the Fire Maple Star X2 burner. So it's snapped into place right there. So all we want to do is give it, go ahead and give it a start. And then our pan just sits right on top of that. And that's a nice sturdy spot for it. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. We got our eggs all scrambled. So this is the uh, jalapeno salsa. So we're gonna stick that on there and then it's time to eat. So I just stuck my honey in here. Give it a quick stir with my little spoon. That's a little spoon. <laughs> so this is the, uh, like I said, that white pine needle tea. I think I got that off of Amazon. Yeah, you can definitely take the pine needles. <laughs> yeah. Pine needle tea isn't real strong, but high in vitamin C. All right, let's get to our eggs. So we've got our cheesy eggs with our jalapeno salsa on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, focus. There we go. <laughs> So I could do a wrap, I could do anything for these eggs, but sometimes in the morning I just 
I just want eggs and cheese. <laughs> I don't want bread or any carbs. Mmm. Very good. So one nice thing about having camp broke down already is if anybody stops and says, Hey, what are you doing? And say, oh, I'm eating breakfast. <laughs> I wanted to see the fish and got hungry. They won't know we stayed overnight. Just right over there. Yeah. And that was very comfortable. So it's... I don't think it's uh, drizzling anymore, but my stuff didn't get wet because it was underneath the uh, go to the car uh, because it was underneath. I was underneath a lot of tree leaves and branches, so I was pretty protected. But it's not like it poured or anything; it just drizzled. But I'm glad we're under here in case it does break loose. Hey. We got a nice roof over our head. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating these, and I will talk to you in a bit. Okay, we're all cleaned up and uh, done with breakfast, all packed away. The only thing left is to hike on out of here. <laughs> yeah. So I really enjoyed this spot. I think it was a perfect camp. A lot of traffic though, uh, but <laughs> you're gonna have that when you're sleeping next to a bridge, right? Uh, okay, so, well, I think there's only one thing left. Let's cue the music. There it is, all right. So hey, remember it's just one adventure at a time. And if you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. And uh, I really do appreciate you. And uh, so it is uh, Tony 2.0 out. Oh, don't forget to <laughs> hang on to the end. But take a look at all these names. Isn't that awesome? These are people that have been supporting the channel. I mean, you're supporting it by watching. Now, these guys gave uh, Buy Me a Coffee, uh, Buy Me a Coffee membership, Patreon. Check out the names. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you got to come along with me. You know what? The next video, we're going to New York State, I believe. All right. Well, come on. Let's get going. Uh, you go first. You can pull me up there. That's a long way up.